Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to day 17 of uh, the 21 day series of uh, Terry Dillon Solutions, where we're providing tips to help community clubs around the country. Uh, my name is, is Terry Dillon, and uh, we've uh, had a really busy week, and it's been a big week in sport, and I'm going to go through some of the uh, experiences we uh, we uh, covered this week. I've already talked about, we worked in Warnable, which is Cameron, a fantastic community club, um, you know, sensational attendance, and uh, a proud club that's been doing pretty tough um, on the uh, on the field in recent times. We had a terrific session on Tuesday night with uh, Keylaw Park, a club that's been in recess for 12 months. So it's had some real tough times to close the doors. is always a, a huge decision for any club. And uh, I want to thank Peter McGrady particularly, who um, who drove that session, thanks to the state government, SRV, who, who funded a, a large share of that, uh, that session. Uh, it's interesting that... The video we posted, I think it was day 15 or day 16, we went around the room and uh, we asked for feedback from people who attended the session and uh, it was terrific to hear that sort of positive feedback. I think we've had about 600 people watch that video from from that session, which is outstanding. I'd like to think by the end of the week we'll have over 1,000 people watch that session. The feedback from the Kilo Park people on the on the on the positives they got out of the session and that range from the importance of structures the importance of finance the importance of raising money the importance of planning there is a formula to running a successful club i want to thank andrew simpson who helped out with the session which is terrific on the night um i've got a special guest here can you, my dog can you close that door please kim and um uh, Andrew Simpson did a terrific job, uh, and and uh, you know we're looking forward to doing other sessions with Andrew in in the future. We also had a uh, we then visited um, that was I think it was Killer Park was Wednesday night. We then went to George Cross Soccer Club, one of the proudest clubs in the uh, in the suburbs, the outer suburbs of Melbourne near Sunshine. It's been around since 1947, and uh, look at, they're looking at a, a brand new facility which is three months away. I think it's been a decade in the making. Uh, it's a 14 million dollar facility. There's going to be four pitches out there. It's going to be one hell of a facility. I think it's going to be a real attraction potentially for for A League clubs, for for uh, international games at a lower level, particularly um, I think. Um, under 19 games, etc. But that pavilion, that facility is A grade. And it was great to meet Eddie Gauchy, who's been driving this project along with the committee and many others over the journey. Great to meet Mark, the president there last night. But dealing with a soccer club, they're exactly the same discussions we were having with other clubs, whether it be tennis clubs or, or whatever, um, or, or AFL clubs, they all have the same challenges. We're talking about the same topics. We're talking about committee structures. We're talking about finances. We're talking about how we get more volunteers, how we raise more money, how do we do more planning. Um, so that, that's a terrific uh, session. Um, it's going to be open in about three or four months in Caroline Springs. So Sunshine George Cross Soccer Club is moving to Sunshine. It's going to be an amazing facility. But just this week, we had a, a variety of sports. We met with a, a major golf club yesterday. Uh, we met with, uh, obviously, the soccer clubs last night, meeting with tennis clubs. Uh, today, we met with a state body in netball, which is terrific in terms of their challenges and in terms of uh, club health and how we can move forward. So we're very fortunate to work across over 500 clubs. We're in 1,200 sports because they all have the same challenges. They all have exactly the same challenges. The book is really close. Uh, it's really at the pointy end. Uh, really proud of what it's looking like. We'll hopefully release that the middle of next week. It's going to be $5 cheapest chips. Though, and this will help every single volunteer in the country and I like to think it'll help every single sport in the country we've had some amazing feedback we've got a busy week coming up I think we're off to uh, South Mornington uh, Dalston Trafalgar uh, Inverley down the Geelong way so uh, another uh, good series of uh, sports and clubs that we're dealing with really fortunate working in this space this session is about making um, I suppose giving an update of what we've been doing uh, we're proud and privileged to work in this space we are making a huge difference if you wish to learn more about what we do send us a message um, make an appointment to speak with us or speak with myself for 20 minutes during the week um, and uh, also if you feel that you want to learn a little bit more go to this Facebook page the last 50 to 60 days we've posted a lot of positive stuff that will help every club around the country um, feel, please feel I always struggle with this please feel free 
to share this video with anyone you think this may be of benefit to. So take care, have a great weekend, and uh, my dog did come in, um, but uh, I left the door open and they're out having a walk. So it's uh, late on a Friday, uh, and uh, have a great weekend. I think we're due some rain, which is I think we're all uh, hoping for because it's very, very dry. Take care, and as I said, have a terrific weekend. Cheers.